Thank you very much. On the uh, on the list of speakers uh, to present to you tonight, the, the next one is yours truly. And I am actually much more interested in hearing from what others have to say. So I will just share with you a very quick thought. Uh, it's a sickening thought. Uh, whether it was last week or the week before, we heard the Secretary of State of the United States, uh, John Kerry, admitting publicly that the monies that would be going to Iran would be increasing the chances of more terrorism in the Middle East. In other words, the country that negotiated with this diabolical empire and agreed to return to them, I think, is something in the neighborhood of $150 billion. This is aside from the petrodollars that they will be getting. Basically said, not so much peace in our time, but peace is in our time. What they said was, we know it's going to happen, but we have no choice. And if I were not a rabbi, I would use the word that Majid used <laughs> to describe it. <laughs> it's total garbage. And if there is anything, I know that Majid, during the course of his entire time, was saying, it's not over until it's over, and it's never over. Because we can influence, maybe not directly because Canada is not giving them this money, but what's to stop us from trying to convince this government, which is trying to build good relations with the United States, of saying, I'm coming to you, whether it's in March, to this White House party, and I have to tell you that the entire community in Canada is outraged that you are giving this money to Iran. Because what you're doing is sowing the seeds of further destruction, and you know this is a diabolically evil country that you cannot trust, and even if it promises you that it's not going to be using this money for evil, you don't believe them. Because when an evil group says that we're going to do evil, you believe it. But when an evil group says we're going to be nice, you don't believe it because if you're going to be nice, you're not even nice to your own people. Why would we think you're going to be nice to anyone else? So if we have, let's say, a simple agenda from now until that moment comes to actually flood the Prime Minister's emails and, uh, and office with saying that when you go down to the United States to tell the President of the United States that Canadians are outraged that this money is going to people who are going to kill innocent others, including Canadians. And we don't want it to happen. So if you need some ammunition for what you write, this is what you write. Write this amongst other things, so that somehow or other we can make an influence. We can have an impact. Is there a guarantee? No. But if the Prime Minister is carrying this on his shoulders as he's going down there, and speaks to an Obama who wants to be nice to Canadians. We can say, be nice to Canadians by taking into account what Canadians really believe. Thank you. <laughs> it, it is now my uh, great pleasure to call upon Adashir Zarazada. I don't know if I pronounced his name right, and I hope he'll forgive me, it was not intentional. A human rights activist and legal practitioner in Toronto, known for his extensive activities in human rights in Iran and neighboring countries. He was a spokesperson for the United Student Front, the biggest student secular democratic group in Iran during Khatami's presidency. He is the co-founder 